What is going on guys? We're gonna do a quick crop update for Southwest Michigan right now, just based on what I'm seeing on our farm. Give the video a like, comment anything you guys wanna see in the future, and we're gonna start with some peaches. So peaches as of now are looking all right. Thankfully, they didn't get any of that cold damage from that cold spell hit. We were really worried about pollination. They were probably in full bloom for almost two weeks. Within those two weeks, it was snowing, it was raining, it was anything you would want or anything you wouldn't want during pollination period. But surprisingly, look in here, you can see they're coming out of the shuck and these little tails. So that's, that's actually the peach, which means that it pollinated. Now, peaches are self-pollinating, so they don't need bees. Now we do have one more thing to worry about is June drop. June drop is where the tree actually starts to abort fruit itself depending on different stressors. So hopefully there's a lot roped on here. And for peaches, I only need about 20% of these to actually stay on to have a full crop where they'll size to what the market wants. So I feel pretty good. I'm thinking on peaches this year, we're gonna come out with a good full crop. Now looking at some apples, this is a block of Premier Honeycrisp. I was a little worried with apples this year because last year they were so heavy. Um, I was nervous that we weren't gonna come back with a good crop. For the most part, a lot of blocks look pretty good like this one. We do have some processed goldens that when you look at the tree in full bloom, it's just green, maybe a bloom here and there. That means there's not a lot of apples on there. That sucks, but you know we'll get through it those blocks did not come back. This block thankfully came back very nice. We're getting into petal fall now. So these petals actually start to fall off. I'll go look at a different block real quick. Kind of like right here. So here's the king bloom actually that the petals already fell off of and they'll all start to do this. And they look just like that. That's what we call petal fall. So pollination is done. We brought in those bees, some people call them renna bees, and they come in because apples need bees and another variety to cross pollinate, to pollinate uh, the trees. So each one of these blooms will become an apple as long as it pollinated. Again, with the apples, they did not see any cold damage, thankfully. Um, pollination period was up and down. We had wind and some rain. And so some crappy days, but for the most part, we had about one day during the king bloom, which we call this bloom in the center of a cluster. So usually five to six in a cluster and the center one blooms first. That's your king bloom. It's usually your biggest and best quality apple. We had one decent day for king bloom and two decent days for the secondaries or all the apples around the king bloom. We'll start to see these start to size and what will stay. So down here is the actual apple and we'll get to see what's actually going to set or not again these are going to go through june drop as well as the peaches um i'm also worried about these two because of the crop they had last year they probably didn't winter off as well uh go into a deep sleep so i they had a lot of stressors so i'm i am a little worried about june drop in here and then whatever is left um, if we need to, we can either chemically thin or hand thin apples and peaches. Or for the most part, for what I'm seeing with apples, I'm thinking we're coming in with a with a very good crop again. Um, as long, in most varieties, again, some varieties don't look as great. Uh, fresh varieties seem to be pretty well. Uh, processed varieties seem to be good too, especially John of Gold's. Um, some goldens and some reds though are a little bit on the lighter side. A good example is down here. You see how that tree's green? That one's full bloom. This one should look like that. Oh, if you see a tree like that, next to a tree like that, there's probably not gonna be a crop in that block overall, but that's just one way to tell when I'm driving by real quick. Now for the grapes. So the grape crop this year is gonna be up and down. Unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of this. This is bad wood. You know, this whole shoot should look just like right here. But this is all dead. Um, again, some more dead wood. On top of that, these did get damaged 
by the frost. Some areas are a lot worse than others. The low areas seem to have taken it very hard. On some of these higher knolls, it looks very good. I got a lot of nice green growth coming. Everything's looking really nice. They don't seem to be as good of last year, but again, last year there was an extremely heavy crop of grapes in our area, especially on our farm. And that leads to the following year usually not having as good of a crop, unfortunately. They just used up so much energy last year, so much of the, the food storage that they had. And no matter how much fertilizer we put into them, they just can't handle another crop load like that. But seeing this, I feel really good about the grape crop we got coming into here. It's all looking really nice. Um, but we will go look now down in here. It's more of like, so this is a slope and it's not that hard, but down here in this little valley, it's really green up top and you get to this little valley and it kind of, it's like a little dip and it may just be one or two feet of elevation difference. And that was enough to freeze these buds off, especially a lot on the, on the lower cordon. So for an example, here's an area I'm talking about. You can see up there, it's nice and green and down here, there's very few live buds. This is what I was talking about in earlier videos and I was saying we needed some warm, some warm temps, some warm weather to, to push some of these buds out. As you go up the hill, they get greener and nicer. As these started to push out, we started to see what buds made it, what buds didn't. Early on, it was easy. You see this one right here, it's a little brown one. Now here's a secondary bud that's actually alive that'll push out from some of these dead ones. So this area may turn out better, but this lower cordon, all of these that are brown, they're all dead. They may, like right here, even that secondary's dead. These are all dead. So it's, it's, it's very sporadic across the farms. A lot of the high sites made it real good. Some of the areas where your dips and your low spots froze off and sometimes at the end of the orchard where it come down on a slope where you hope it would drain up some of that cold air back back up into the vineyards and killed off a lot of the ends. The plants will be okay. They're gonna get a lot of growth. So I have a lot of wood to choose from for next year for, <clears throat> for a crop. But So I can't really say where we're at. On the grape crop right now because like here's a cordon for example alive uh dead 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 alive dead so in this cordon i have two lives four dead i mean and that's i haven't gone through all the low spots on the farm to check but for the most part a lot of low areas is what you're seeing a lot of dead a little bit alive here and there you get up to the high sites good so the tops in the high location, you're going to have awesome. You get down to these low areas. You can just see right here is a good example. Here's nice green. You get down to here. It's pretty dead. It starts to pick up a little bit more green. You go up and it keeps getting green. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. It's a little crop update of what's going on in southwest Michigan, uh, basically based on our farm. Um, but this kind of goes for the area as a whole. I'm pretty optimistic about the year. I think we're going to have a great crop. Overall, uh, Mother Nature spared us this year. We're not giving us too bad of a freeze. Um, apples are gonna, I think, are gonna be great. Peaches are gonna be great. Uh, grapes, I think, they're gonna average out to be okay. But that's farming. I'll see you guys in the next one.